Le Mans Ultimate is coming out in a couple of weeks and they drop some new info, including about early access. So today I'm going to be going through all those early access details and more from what they have dropped about Le Mans Ultimate. So I'll be covering all those new details that I didn't in my last Le Mans Ultimate video. So if you haven't, go and check that out. There'll be a card above if you haven't already. However, today I'm going to be going over things like price, the system requirements, and of course, all the early access details. So, Le Mans Ultimate will be available to the public in early access form on Tuesday, the 20th of February. That's the big headline from it releasing on the 20th to it now being in early access. The developers are unsure on how long the game will be in early access. They have clear internal requirements and quality standards that they need to meet for the game to be considered a full release. As for the price, it will be set at €29.99 Euros, £24.99 or US dollars for a day one release and they will increase that price when it is fully released just like any other early access game on Steam which is more of a standard now that's what we expect. As for the game development it will be a collaborative process providing regular updates on the build of the game, fixes, features, content development and user quality of life updates and the developers have said that players are encouraged to take part in future polls, events, forums and suggestions as developers work alongside the community to shape future developments of the game. They also answered why early access, why choose early access and the devs intent for the Mono Ultimate is to become an indispensable gem in the Steam libraries of every sim racer, but to deliver on this commitment they need opinions, input and activity to take the next step on the journey with the players, and following on from the recent positive experience of running a public beta program for R Factor 2 online experience, bug reports and feedback from an engaged community has helped them improve the back-end systems deployed for race control and Studio 397 are excited about involving the community further with Le Mans Ultimate and the early access period will allow them to work through their internal roadmap with some known features coming to the game that they'll let the players know about up front and others that they hope to surprise the fans with and it's their hope to listen and receive feedback from the community so that they can create the best possible experience. Now from the 20th of February you will have access to a race weekend from any of the 2023 season racetracks configured to include practice, qualifying and race sessions will simply build a quick race via the offline race weekend feature and they will also have the opportunity to jump into the online experience powered by race control initially taking part in the daily races against other players from around the world and there will be driver and safety ratings for online which will unlock higher level races separated into beginner intermediate and advanced access points ensuring you face an appropriate skilled grid each time you join and over time the race control will host more complex event types particular to endurance racing all the way through to high profile esports events now this might not be knowledge to some of you but you should already know that, that you'll be able to drive all the cars from the 2023 FIA WC season the 2023 24 hours of Le Mans excluding the innovative car and all seven fabled hypercars from the centenary season so that means if you're looking for the NASCAR to appear from last year's Le Mans you're out of luck However, there are going to be over 100 livery variations to choose one from all 12 cars from GTE, LMP2 and Hypercar classes with all 7 official circuits from the 2023 season. They've also touched on the co-op mode that has been mentioned and it's not currently yet ready to release for early access release but they do have a working prototype in the development studio and that should be available in the summer in the early access phase for us to get our hands on so it won't be available just yet. They've also said that future content updates outside of early access may require additional DLC, confirming that there will be DLC for Le Mans Ultimate. As for the languages that the game will support, it will support English, French, Spanish, Italian and German, and controllers will also be supported in addition to wheels, and the way the controllers work in Le Mans Ultimate has been reworked compared to past Studio 397 titles, with the aim of making the game as accessible as possible and also bringing vibration support as well. And for now, menus are accessible only using mouse and keyboard, but they plan to revisit this in the future and there are no current plans to support modded content on Le Mans Ultimate. Now onto those system requirements. They've released the minimum and recommended. So let's go through the minimum specs to run on minimum settings at 1080p. So of course, as standard Windows 10 or 11, you'll need an Intel Core i5-4460 or an AMD FX8120, 8GB of RAM, 
with an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 950 or an AMD Radeon RX 470 and 30GB of available storage. As for recommended to run on default settings at 1080p, you'll require an i5 9600 or an AMD Ryzen 5 3600X, 16GB of RAM, a GeForce GTX 1070 8GB or a Radeon RX 588 GB card and again that 30 GB of storage space and those are the system requirements required to run Le Mans Ultimate. And the last thing I wanted to mention is they did highlight that the social channels will be a play, basically the place to be between the 8th and 9th of February. They've said that you can follow the development team as they have undertake the latest in a line of several balance of performance, BOP tests, preparing the cars in the respective classes, ahead of launch, it will also be another chance to see highlights and hear the cars in action. These channels will also be used in the coming week, weeks to reveal plans for post-release roadmap. And that's it. That's all the new information that we know about Le Mans Ultimates. And I'm going to ask you, what are you most looking forward to for Le Mans Ultimate? Let me know in the comments below. Was there something that highlighted in this particular video? They thought, yes, that seems good. Are you a bit skeptical because it's early access? Personally, I think it's good because it means they can improve the game with player feedback. And that's always really important. If you enjoy this video, and let's see more like this one. Make sure you are subscribed. I cover various racing and simulation based gaming content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.